If you have a pile of books that you're no longer reading, there's a special spot in North Park that wants your books and they want your business. In this morning's Evely Zone, he visits Verbatim Books. Take a look. As the son of a San Diego librarian, this is a story I had to tell. A bookstore that's not only surviving, but thriving. We have cookbooks, we have craft books. We when was the last time you heard about a bookstore? And this is the original side of the store. Knocking down walls to make more room. This wasn't enough space. That's you had correct. to expand. We did, yeah. Justine Initzer, the owner of Verbatim Books, loves to watch the faces of customers when they walk in the door. They're like, oh, like I didn't know a bookstore could be that way. I thought bookstores were all dusty and old and, you know, going out of business. Selling books can be boring. Oh, yeah, that's our, one of our Halloween decorations. But not if you turn the everyday experience into a happening. As you walk around the store, like, we really, you know, a lot of these little pieces, I just will find them. I think they're cool. I know that you can check your hair. I feel like Harry Potter is going to jump out and go <laughs> like this. What do you call this? So this is our, I guess we call it our bookshelf mural. If this building's exterior is the cover to Justine's book. Whose idea was this? <laughs> this? This was also mine. Just wait until you see what's inside. I think this is the most eye-catching part. Creativity overload. A lot of these books are from the 1890s. These books are gorgeous. Let's you know this place doesn't play by the book. Nothing is glued either, it's all balanced. 98% of Justine's books are used, and most only about $5. I like coming in here because the books have personality. It's unique. It's unlike any other bookstore that I've, I've been to. That little section right there is a bunch of books from the 50s. They take time to talk to you. They take time to see what, what you are interested in. It's got a cool vibe. It's in a cool place. You just want to hang out here. A Grisham. You can also bring in your own books to buy, sell, or trade. What do you think of my collection? I think it's a fine collection. Did you read all these books, though? Uh, <laughs> of my five books, Justine was interested in three. This is probably going to be the bestseller of your collection. Really? In return, she gave me... Have you read The Handmaid's Tale? They'll probably just eat it up. When you were young, yeah. what was your dream job? Oh my goodness, that's really an interesting question. Justine says with every book she read, her dreams changed as fast as the pages she turned. I could be a boat captain, or I could be an explorer, I could be a, you know, like a teacher. Own a bookstore, and you can write your own storybook ending. I've heard at times there's a line that's out the door and wraps around the corner. <laughs> yeah. In the Zevely Zone. Hey, come on in. Wow. Jeff Zevely, CBS 8.